Fresh from the showcase at Swiss Watch Expo, we have the Jeger LeCoultre Reverso Squadra World Time Chrono. That's a mouthful, but the watch is absolutely a wristful and you're gonna love it. So yeah, the Jeger LeCoultre World Chrono, World Time Chrono Squadra. It's a lot of words in there for the name of this watch, but it is a really cool watch. And it's an interesting release from Jeger LeCoultre. In 2006, when they came out with this watch, the big watch craze had really taken off with Panerai and the Audemars Piquet Royal Oak Offshore and the Hublot Big Bang. Uh, there were a lot of big watches out there at the time. And the Reverso it had kind of evolved into sort of a dress watch only, which is interesting because its original plan from JLC was that it was a very much a sporting watch. It was designed for polo players and golfers to be able to flip the watch around and protect the crystal while they were playing. So it was really meant to be a sport watch. And the original design uh, patents that were filed on the case of the watch had a little bit more of a squarish look to it where the Reverso had really evolved into a very rectangular watch. And that was dictated by the rectangular movements that were available at the time in the 1930s from Jeger LeCoult. But um, they decided in 2006 that they wanted to really bring the Reverso back to its roots as a very much a sporting watch. And they came out uh, as a limited edition with the Squadra series in 2006. This is one of only 1,500 that were made. And of the three different Squadra watches that were released that year, this is really the one that was the top watch. It retailed for about $20,000. And you can see the listing on our website. It is less than half of that now, which makes it such a great watch of value for the dollar. But like I said, they really brought it back to, their, to the sporting roots. They increased the water resistance. Uh, most reversos have a water resistance to 30 meters. This is to 50. So more than just being splash proof, it really could be submerged. And uh, a lot of reversos uh, are hand wound mechanical. Um, this one is automatic. It's a little bit thicker. So in keeping with those other big watches like the Big Bang and the Royal Oak Offshore, uh, it is a fully automatic watch. It's made to get out there and uh, have some fun in the sun and uh, it's not afraid to get wet. It's uh, shock proof. So it's a, it's a reverso that's really great for day-to-day -day wear. And even though it's a bigger watch, um, it is 51 millimeters lug to lug, top to bottom here. And it's 36 and a half millimeters wide. Um, the 36 and a half wide, don't let it fool you. Uh, squarish and rectangular watches wear differently from round ones. But uh, even though this is a substantial size watch, my wrist is maybe seven and a quarter, seven and a half maybe. And you can see that it is not a gigantic watch uh, on the wrist. Uh, it sits really nice. And even though it probably is too thick to uh, get a dress shirt to go over it, it's a sport watch. So you don't really need it to do that. And um, it, it doesn't look disproportionately large for the wrist though. And that's something that uh, I was really glad to see because even though it is a large scale watch, it maintains a lot of uh, wearability. When you look at this watch, you can see that it does maintain a lot of the Art Deco heritage that uh, JLC built the, into the Reverso. You can see the intersection of the lines that go across the top with the case lines and the way the lugs are shaped. Uh, really harkens back to that time uh, when things were uh, different in the watch world for sure in the 1930s, but uh, this watch really made waves and has become really the flagship model for Jeger LeCoultre. Uh, the, even the Arabic numbers, they're, they're kind of crazy and they're, they're big and they're bold, makes the watch real easy to read. They uh, sort of have that Art Deco look as well. Now the, on the main dial on the front, we have a chronograph, and uh, it is a really smooth, uh, it, it's a um, vertical clutch column wheel chronograph. So you don't get any of that hesitation uh, from other uh, chronographs. It, it's a very nice uh, feeling chronograph. When you start, stop it and reset it, it, it feels you know, more like a really high-end watch that you would expect from JLC. It feels like 
you would expect from Patek Philippe and Vacheron Constantin and Audemars Piquet. Um, but because it's a vertical clutch, you can run the chronograph all the time. If you like to see the large seconds hand for the chronograph running as you're running seconds hand, rather than just reading the small subdial at six o'clock, it's really small at six o'clock. It's hard to read those seconds, honestly. But you have the traditional start, stop, reset on the chronograph. The, uh, at six o'clock, you have a day night indicator which is great because um, when you're using this for the world time complication, you're gonna to need to know whether the front dial is showing AM or PM. You also don't ever wanna change the uh, date on a watch when it is uh, in the danger zone. So it's always nice when they include a day night indicator to show you whether you're in that danger zone or not. But other than that, the front dial of the watch, it's pretty straightforward. What gets pretty cool is when you're opening the watch, and of course the Reverso, they all flip left to right. Um, in the, the case chassis here, you can see that beautiful engine turn perlage that uh, JLC uses, and then you just click it right in like this. So here's the world time complication, and this is what Penny was really asking me about why we decided to do the video on this watch. She wanted to know how you read this, and if you look at it, it already has the entire uh, spectrum of 24 different main time zones divided up for you. You can read the time in all 24 at the same time. So if you're a, a world traveler, this would be really handy. Or if you do business all over the world, or if you have contacts in different cities, um, you're able to read what time it is in all of them at the same time. So it's very different from a regular GMT watch that only shows two or three time zones. Um, the way this reads, the shaded part, it's night, and the uh, part that's not shaded, it's daytime in those time zones. And for any time zone, most world time watches, the chapter ring with the numbers moves. But on this one, it stays still, and the center moves uh, to show you the time in, in each of those cities. So what you do is you just read the city and, uh, and the time right there, and uh, you've got it, them all displayed at the same time. You don't have to change anything to read the time. So it would be real quick and easy just to flip the watch over, read the time in another time zone, and then flip it back. Or if you're you know, doing several different operations at a time, you might want to leave it flipped to this side. But definitely this watch is going to be a conversation starter wherever it goes. The case is, is titanium. That's a combination of brushed and polished. It looks very different from anything else out there on the market. It even looks really different from any other JLC reversos. And with only 1,500 of these having been made, uh, this one's a very low number, uh, less than 100. Um, so it was definitely made in 2006, um, but it's in phenomenal condition. Um, JLC uses a, uh, a grade of titanium that just doesn't show the scratches like you'd see from a lot of other companies. And so the watch looks fantastic. Uh, the strap on it looks like it's never been worn to me. And uh, I think you'll agree when you see it. Give us a call. We'll be happy to do a FaceTime call, show you live video of the watch, uh, let you see it on the wrist, show you our service center and our store, as well as this watch uh, and any others you might be interested in. Just go to SwissWatchExpo.com and search Reverso up top and you'll see our entire Reverso collection.